Let's start out with the St. Louis Cardinals, who are at the Washington Nationals. That's going to kick things off for us on Friday night. You can see the run line, the money line, and the total right there. The cards laying about a buck sixty-five. The total sitting at nine. A little bit of juice there on the under. It's Michaelis against Anibal Sanchez. And talk about a veteran who's been around a while, and that would be Sanchez. Uh, Mark the birds. You know, a little bit of a price here, but I don't think it's as big as I thought it was going to be with the pitching matchup first came out. And life is not good in Nat's world and their starting rotation when you have to throw Sanchez out there again. St. Louis gets Goldie back. They get Arenado back tonight. What say you, sir? Well, I think it's interesting that uh, the, the Nationals have used both Annabelle Sanchez and Aaron Sanchez this year, which I think would have been good maybe like in 2014, but... Uh, in 2022, probably not very good. And if you look at the the handicap for this game, I've got Sanchez in. He's 137th out of 150 pitchers in my ratings. 22% worse than average. And Mikolas, you know, he's better than average, but he's like probably right around average. I have him 71 out of 150 pitchers. And if you look at the uh, the base winner number for these guys, um, there's Mikolas, 3.98, right around league average, a little bit, a tick above league average. Uh, Anibal Sanchez, better than Aaron Sanchez, but he's at 4.31. And so I'm going to play the over in this game. I've got it projected at 10.3 runs. Uh, the current line's at nine, and it's kind of even money. So I think that that's good value. You know this, and, and you always think in the back of your mind, well, I hope they don't they don't deal Soto, but I don't think it's going to happen for this game. You look my offensive rating for the Cardinals. I have them ninth in baseball, Washington thirteenth in baseball. Uh, the relief core. Uh, for the Nationals, not that great, 23rd in baseball. And I'm not really that high. This is kind of controversial. I'm not really that high on the St. Louis bullpen either. And then one of the things I wanted to talk about uh, before we move on is the Washington Nationals uh, plate discipline numbers. And they, if you look, they're like third in baseball with uh, on their full and then at home, they're, they're up in the top 10 as well. So I think that that's something that you know, I always like to play teams that aren't going to, you know, they're going to make the pitcher work for his outs. And and I think that the, the Nationals have shown propensity based on that BBK, those BBK numbers that they can, you know, they, they'll get a good pitch to hit. Their isolated power numbers, you know, I've talked about this on the show. They've all, they're all down on their isolated power. And I think that that, that number has a tendency to regress uh, to the good, well, if you're above where it is, it'll regress to the bad. If you're below, like Washington is, it'll re regress to the good. So, I th And, of course, you know, the, the Cardinals offense, they, they get uh, Goldie back. He's MVP. They get Arenado back. He can hit. So I think you put everything in the mixer. I, I think that's a fair 10.3 projection. I'm going to play the over here, Scott. Yeah, Jeff, it would be that way for me or nothing when it comes to the total. It would be the over or nothing. I don't want to sit there and watch. Washington starting pitching their pin or anything else when it comes to what they do in the field uh, and have to root for an under. It'll be interesting, Jeff, to see if on Sunday night on the plane ride back uh, to St. Louis, if Juan Soto is on that Cardinal plate or not. But your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I you know, anytime uh, St. Louis plays, you know, I have interest in a, in a uh, team total, but it's five and a half. It's pretty high. Uh, that said, I mean, it, it's time to it might be the end of the road here for Anibal Sanchez. I mean, 38 years old, uh, really just kind of in a, a, a on a bad team, doesn't pitch much, hasn't seen much action, just isn't effective. Uh, it might be time to hang it up and head back to, you know, greener pastures and maybe do something else. That said, Nicholas, I'm not running to back him on the road, and I think the over makes a lot of sense here. You're going to have an offense in St. Louis that's probably going to get six, seven, uh, maybe five, whatever. I don't love Nicholas. His numbers are particularly poor on the road, particularly recently. Uh, you look at it at home, opponents sitting 191 against him on the road, 241. Not great. Strikeout numbers are down. Uh, pretty much everything's down when he goes on the road. Throw in the fact that you have two bullpens that I'm not interested in, particularly in Washington. They have one of the worst in baseball. And St. Louis isn't very good. So I think it at even nine, uh, this game kind of screams, you know, seven, three, something like that. I could see that. All right, let's lock in base winner with the over, over nine in the battle between St. Louis and Washington. Jeff and I both on board with that one. We both